Monetary policy has changed, you know, uh, some people would say brutally because the rates were expected to remain very, very low for a long period of time and suddenly in one year, you know, you go to with an increase of more than 400 basis points, which creates a lot of stress actually in some sectors and the real estate sector, of course, is very exposed to interest rate. I must say for on my side, one of my biggest surprise, and it's a little bit more positive surprise, I thought the stress would be much bigger than what we see today. I don't deny that there are problems in the real estate sector, but so far I would say uh, the, the problems have been contained. I think private sector is much better organized than it used to be. There is, uh, in many institutions, lesser leverage than before, lesser exposure to liquidity risk and interest rate risk. But still, I mean, uh, asset prices have been inflated in this period of very low interest rates and so it's going to make pain. The question is how long? And I think for more conservative uh, investors in real estate, I think uh, they must be able to survive uh, even if monetary policy gets even tighter. Uh, that's not the case for all the sector. But uh, I don't expect you know, the downturn of the cycle to be too long. So it's a, maybe a question of stress over maybe two years, may look long, but from a business cycle point of view, it's not that long. And I think the more conservative uh, you know, players uh, will probably have a good deal. The interest rate environment is going to be uh, more challenging for you know, all the debtors in the coming years. Doesn't mean you know, that it has to be, that rates will go much, much higher. What I fear the most, of course, is that some parts of the real estate sector, for example, you know, the private markets, uh, which are much less transparent than, than public markets, if you have stress there, when you see forced selling in one part of the market, it influences the rest of the market. So the financial stability considerations are still uh, you know, on the radar screen of central bankers. Uh, that, uh, of course, pushes them to be a bit careful on rates. Uh, but still, I mean, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't see more than two, two years you know, of, of difficulties in the sector. But the conservative funds, being lesser leveraged, lesser exposed to liquidity risk, should do better. And rates, you know, nobody knows where they're going to go. But I don't think they're going to go much higher than what we see today. But uh, the, it's not really the issue. The issue is really to see how conservative are your finance in uh, any real estate, you know, uh, uh, company uh, and how resilient you are in different scenarios. That's, that's the basic question.